Okay, Alicia Mouse neat and clean job is done. Uh, let's check the tilting. So far, I don't see anything anywhere is touching or is sticking. Okay, all the cables are neatly done and I can still access the uh, USB port to program the CC3D. Uh, before we uh, jump into the programming section, uh, let's do the last minute things that is to prepare for the canopy holders. Uh, because later we will be preparing the canopy and adding the canopy so this is very simple you have the canopy holders and you have been given the uh, two, 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 this kind of holes here on the frame let me zoom in and start adding the uh, canopy holders okay okay canopy holders are installed uh, I will suggest that you follow my way uh, this will make the canopy fit more right or better don't use both the screws but use the outer screw hole on the canopy holder and let the canopy holder come out a bit okay similarly forward and backward let them come out a bit this will have uh, because we have added an extra width on the frame in the last minute I just remember so this will give you a better mounting options for the canopies Okay, so next step what we're going to do is add the motor propeller adopters. Okay, remember that they are CC, uh, they are CW that is clockwise and counterclockwise. So you should have the propellers ready and handy. And accordingly, you will add those propeller adopters on these motors. Okay, remember your motors is spinning direction. So when the motor spins, your propeller should uh, tighten. Let me let me pick up the propellers. Okay. So you have uh, written on the propellers CW and CCW, okay, counterclockwise and clockwise. Pick up your propeller adopters, okay, so now if you add this propeller adopter on this motor, you know this motor will spin clockwise. This means it should tighten the propeller when it's spinning, okay, and make sure the propeller when it spins this way, it should uh, blow the air downwards. So when it spins, your propeller should tighten so this way it's spinning and propeller is tightening that means this one is right so this this propeller adopter is clockwise this means you'll put this one here so use this counterclockwise propeller here okay when the motor spins clockwise your propeller is tightening you can see when the motor spins right propeller tightens and spins with it. The next one is counterclockwise propeller adopters, okay? So put them on, pick up your clockwise propeller, okay, and check. When motor spins this way, propeller is tightening. Okay, and when the propeller spins, it blows the air downwards. All right, this is good. So uh, let me check the other motor adopter right here. The last one, when the motor spins counterclockwise, it tightens the propeller. And propeller, when it's spinning, will blow the air downward. Okay? Similarly, let me pick up one more pair of propellers and check my motor adopters, propeller adopters. Counterclockwise tightens the propeller when propeller spins the right way it will blow the air downward and similarly the last one should be definitely right because when the motor spins this way propeller will tighten okay I can see propeller will tighten and when propeller spins it will blow the air downward so this is how you're going to install the propeller adopters on the motors making sure when the motors spin in the right direction Following the criteria or diagram for the CC3D for motor spinning, your propellers should tighten when motors spin in right direction 
and your propellers when it's spinning should blow the air downwards. So both, front, both motors rear and both motors front, when they spin in the right direction, propeller tighten and propellers will blow air downward. So remember this and install the propeller adopters. You just have to put in three screws on each adopter. Next thing we're gonna do is program the radio and program the flight controller. So let's do it quickly because I just can't wait to fly this one.